Association Charity Wing, GFA Foundation, organized a blood donation exercise to fill the blood bank with the aim of reaching out to the needy, touching lives, giving back to society, and focusing on the welfare of industry players. Stakeholders within the football industry, such as GFA staff, partners, players of men and women Premier League, supported groups also donated blood to support the activity. The blood donation campaign manifests the GFA Foundation's mission of positively impacting the lives of people through support for national and international development initiatives and goals. The GFA Foundation believes there is an urgent need to stock safe, adequate blood and blood products in blood banks in all hospitals across the country to support medical and surgical procedures. Paul Adepa Adapo, Senior Medical Officer, Accra Ridge Hospital, in his address said, At one point in time, a footballer might need blood during an infection or injury period. At every stage, footballer or his relative can be in need of blood. For instance, a footballer in training session may be injured, uh, and a bone might be broken. The bone is one of the tissues that bleeds a lot. And so uh, that will need an orthopedic surgeon's attention. So at that stage, a footballer may need blood to repair the bones. You remember uh, a typical case of Nwanko Kano, who had a heart condition and needed the heart to be repaired. Nwanko Kano is alive now because uh, he got blood donated and the surgery was successful. Uh, there are many other cases. Uh, a simple malaria could become, uh, you know, a severe malaria and that can result in severe anemia in a footballer uh, and they will need blood. Any infection can result in uh, anemia or sepsis where the blood level goes very low and they will be in the need of blood. It may also be a family member, uh, the wife of a footballer uh, or our female footballers uh, who get pregnant may be in need of blood at even before the pregnancy, during the pregnancy period, through labor, through delivery and post-delivery. The children of the footballers may be in need of blood, uh, anemia, jaundice, and all and somebody a footballer may be involved in a road traffic accident that requires blood so yeah these are some of the stages that i can remember of the cuff well as many as possible uh today we are targeting about uh, uh, uh 200 and above so as many people that uh, qualify to donate uh, per the screening tools uh, that we can get we'll be here till you drop so uh, as many people as can donate to stock the blood bank because we have that capacity to do all the surgeries and to treat all the uh, diseases that come that will require blood for transfusion. With the tagline GFA Cares, the football governing body in Ghana has a vision to be the best football for good association in social investments and sustainability practice. For the GFA Foundation, the exercise is part of its activities for the year and is a major part of the GFA Employee Volunteer Program. Malcolm Frazier Apiedu, director of the GFA Foundation, in his remarks, said, The foundation is only working to make a positive impact on Ghanaians, hence the need for the blood donation exercise. We have a focus area, we have acronym GFA CARES. The CARES, the C stands for community community development, which is health and education. The A talk, talks about the assistance to underprivileged groups and societies. The R talks about our sustainability campaign, which is, means reuse, recycle, and reduce. And the E talks about education against hooliganism and violence in football. Then the S is support to old players, the welfare and the support to old players. So basically, if you look at it, See, being health and education, so blood donation is one of the most important things when it comes to the health, uh, health, health sector. I mean, if there is nothing you can do for any person at all, it's not blood, because the blood is not, you, you, you can't buy blood. The only person that can give you blood is another person. And in Ghana, the amount of blood that we need to have in stock in our blood bank is not that, it's not at that level. So. We thought that as part of the World Blood Owner Day, which falls on June 14th, we should have this activity. 
So that's why we have this uh, Black Demand Day. It's a way of, I mean, the GFA Foundation has a mission to improve the quality of lives of people in football communities as well as our other uh, society and community. So that's why we brought about this uh, Black Demand Day. I mean, uh, no, for now, we don't have a target. I mean, we would, we would start from now, as you have started, to the last person we are able to take the pint of black for the last person. We are not done. But at least within the time zone, we should be having about 300 pints of black. It's a permanent feature on our calendar. Last year we had it. This year we are going to do it. Next year, definitely, we are going to do it.